the other way. Yes. A pretty good punt by the keeper. Absolutely. Kyle Merritt gets a nice trap on it, but now what's he doing with the ball? He's kicking. Yes. He's heading it. He's playing penalty kick with the well, ball. He gets it up to Andrew Stockwell. Looks like that worked out well. Yes. Josh Waters back in the game here. Trying to clean it up on the outside. Oh, I think he was trying to chip that ball over. He just didn't get a good chip. You know, sometimes an error can lead to a good thing in football, but it doesn't mean you should get credit. You know, it is kind of like Joseph when he was sold into slavery by his brothers. You know, it ended up being a good thing, but their part was no, no good and they don't deserve things. Absolutely not. It's the same thing with the mistake in football. Sometimes it just turns out good. That did not turn out to be a good throw-in. <laughs> no. And seems to be evidence of uh, exactly what you're saying. Yes. Looks like John Laterno has taken the field. Yes. <laughs> Trying to get as much play time with these young players as possible. This is a perfect game to do it. Yes. Once you are up 6 nothing, you have time. And I believe Levi just stepped in. Check two! Go, Corey, go! Oh, that was a close call for Corey Thomas. If that goalie were not out, that would have been a goal. But the goalie was where he should have been, and he, he stopped the ball. We have not seen that all day with this goalie, but he did it there. There you go, Corey. Sick him! I would say that the Cardinals have some things that they can uh, can certainly be pleased with, yes. few and far between as they are. Yes. Now they're just kicking the ball around. Somebody get control of that ball. Yes, they're playing patty cake with their feet in the ball. There's no patty cake in football. In football, no patty cake. Absolutely not. Well, the Cardinals with the ball again. <laughs> and he, he just kicked his shoe off. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. And Dalton Thomas with the punt. And the Cardinals got it going back the other way. Don't you, Eric? Nobody's getting control of that ball though in the last couple of minutes here. It looks like Patty Kick again. Now we've got a whistle. Is there a handball there? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this time to go get my sweatshirt. No, I think no, maybe what so. seems to be the call there, Rico? Yes. You know, sometimes when the referee makes a call, he has to make the call that he sees. Sometimes he's not right, sometimes he is. But the call is the call, and that's what you have to do. The referee is king. Absolutely right. Well, that's a nice pass up to Corey Thomas. What a move by Corey Thomas and a shot and a goal! His first career goal! And the Eagles are up 7 to nothing over the Cardinals. And now let's go down to our field correspondent, three-time Olympic gold medalist and five-time Olympic leading goal scorer if he had played in the Olympics. Ricky Kick. Whoa, that is like too cool. That is awesome. That is spectacular. That is the ultimate for a keeper, dude. He's like the all-round player, man. Wow. Back to you, Tom. It's Bob. Did I get all the way down? Did you see that move? Logan, you like punched Corey down. Oh no, I moved. There's not a whole lot of time left. And it looks like the coaches are calling him off. He's putting his goalie shirt back on, and 
Dalton Thomas, I think, will be going back into the defense. I don't think the Eagles will be pressing for the shutout, the uh, the mercy rule, rather. Well, they're playing, and the player has no shirt on. They stopped it. Yes, I believe they got a little apprehensive there and went uh, ahead of the whistle. Yes. It looked like the referee had some words with him. I, I was reading his lips. It looked like he said, Did you hear me blow the whistle? And then the, the kid just said no. And so he realized he shouldn't have started yet. I didn't know you were a lip reader, Rico. Yes. You are, you are a fascinating man, Rico. Yes, absolutely so. I'm very fascinating. Never listening to you again. He's like, denied. <laughs> well, let's see how aggressive the Cardinals get now. <laughs> they seem to go in spurts. Yes. But very few of them. Yes, very, very few. Well, Corey Thomas back in the goal. He's got to be feeling pretty good now. Yes. Kicking that ball with his first career goal under his belt. Yes, that is his first goal kick with a career goal in his belt. Absolutely. Looks like Josh Watt is trying to threaten here. He's had a shot on goal today. Yes, but this one might be his first shot on goal. Oh, the defense is going to get that ball out of there. With the goalkeeper who has a point with a goal in his belt. This year is going to be, I believe, Sean Garby is doing a corner kick. This is his first career corner kick with a goalkeeper, you know, Corey Thomas, his goalkeeper, having a goal under his belt. Boy, we're seeing a lot of firsts here today, Rico. Yes, definitely so. And that's the first time a corner kick by the Eagles has been stolen by the defense with the goalie that has yes. a first career goal. Yes, that is correct. Another first. We have plenty, plenty of firsts. Wow. Exciting game. This, this game will go down in history as an exciting game. Absolutely. Yes, I believe in dictionaries in the future. It will say exciting game, and it will refer to this game and tell you why, because many, many firsts. Five minutes, Rebecca. No, I didn't just see it with Dalton, Dalton, and Mitch and Corey. By then, though, I'm thinking dictionaries will have video. You know, sometimes now they have pictures and stuff. Well, I think they'll have video. And that looks like a wrap on this game. Yeah, it's a very it's exciting game. Dalton Thomas missing on uh, his possible fifth goal. Uh, goalkeeper shutting down on that. Well, we end this game. The Steels Eagles 7, the Whittemore Prescott Cardinals 0, zip, zilch, nada. We'll head back for more post-game coverage. What an exciting game we just witnessed here. Seven to nothing, Scales Eagles. Who knows they had that much in them in this first game of the season. Now they are running 1-0. This is an undefeated season so far for this team. Can they hold on to it? We'll find out. What do you think there, Bryant? Well, I'll tell you, Taco, since you asked. I saw a lot of... Very good things, indeed. But I also saw some very troubling things. Some things such as too many Skills Eagles going for the ball, and too many times not enough Skills Eagles going for the ball. You see, that, that's not good, not good at all. So they're, they are going to have to clean that up if they are going to uh, even have a chance against their next opponent, Burt Lake. Well, you know, you make a really good point about Burt Lake. That's a really good team. This Burt Lake outfit, they beat the Eagles twice last year. Indeed. Um, yeah, really good team, but we'll see. Looks like a new and approved skills Eagles out there in the soccer field. I um, think so. But yeah, you made, you point out some mistakes and errors they're making that they cannot commit against Burt Lake. Ooh, absolutely not. Um, if, quite frankly, they might get creamed if they do that because uh, Burt Lake is not as forgiving as the Cardinals were in this game. Ooh, that's it all. So, well, an impressive victory nonetheless for the Eagles. 7 nothing. How about Dalton Thomas? Four goals. Wow. Four goals. Wow. What can you say except wow? Wow. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. It is. You know, back when I used to uh, 
refurbished trucks for a living. We used to say wow a lot too when someone wanted to get four dents put out um, like they were making uh, something that happened with uh, the vehicle. So, so we, but four goals, that's like the same thing. Wow. Wow. So, how about that Corey Thomas? Another man, a goalie nonetheless, getting his first career goal. That, I tell you, I tell you Taco, as a soccer player, it is, there is nothing more exciting uh, as a goalkeeper getting a goal, and not only that, but his first career goal. Way to go, Corey Thomas. Way to go, Corey Thomas. Goal number one. You might not see any more if they keep you in the net, though. But hey, nonetheless, they didn't score against you either. <laughs> Indeed. Both the Thomas boys were in net tonight, and they both had a 100% save percentage. I know that is true. That's amazing. That is amazing. It's like goalkeeping runs in the blood. I guess it does. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, one of the glaring things that I saw, though, that they're going to have to clean up for Mid Lake this Friday is going for the ball. They must go for the ball more aggressively as a team. They have individuals that go for the ball, but as a team, they have to go for the ball because, as we say in my country, if you're not going to run after the ball, you might as well milk a goat. Yeah, might as well milk a goat because you're not going to score milking a goat. You're not going to score if you're not chasing the ball. Indeed. I get it. I get it.